What's up everybody and welcome back to The Last Dinner Survival. So today I'm going over my top 10 tips for new players to the game. So this is going to be helping you out in your first, I don't know, say 50 or 60 levels of the game. So there we go, let's just wave quickly. So most important tip I could think of is build your base in the center of your tile. So it should be about 8 or 9 foundations length away from each edge. So this center tile here is right in the middle of this and that gives you the most room to expand outwards and gives you convenient space to have a really good strong room in the center for later on. Trust me, if you don't do this, you will regret it. I definitely do. Second tip, use the healer's experience buff to level up faster. It is incredibly useful. I currently haven't got it showing up there, as you can see. But yeah, it is incredibly useful. It gives you double experience. Use it. Don't ignore the healer because you don't want to watch a 30 second ad for an hour of double XP. And once you've got the XP buff, visit the yellow zones just for the most optimum use of it. You're quite early on in the game. You probably haven't got the stuff you need to take on red zones yet, but yellow zones there's quite a few zombies there, but there's not too many of the larger, stronger ones, and you're pretty much guaranteed to not run into the big one, which is always good. <laughs> Tip number three, farm a lot of wood. You are always going to need it, it be it for building, upgrading, or just for making charcoal to smoke yourself some resources. So I think I've even got charcoal cooking at the moment. There you go, 20 in there, making some in there. So yeah, always try and have it stockpiled. Always have wood being turned into planks as well. So here we go, 20 in there, 20 in there. Oh, there we go, I can stock that up, get that turned into planks. You're gonna need a constant supply of wood coming in. It is ridiculously useful. It's the main core of the game, you're gonna need it. Number four is kill every animal you see. Hide is equally important. Without hide, you can't make weapons or stronger armor. So if you take a look here, very, so you've got your basic stuff and then there they go, you've got your lovely set of cheap armor that's really weak and straight up you need hide to upgrade it and make it stronger. And then there's this stuff, which also needs all the hide as well. So kill every animal you see. Found that hide. Next up would be don't cook meat. When you're killing those animals to farm their hide, you want to put it on the tanning rack and their meat, you put in the meat dryer. It doesn't require any resources at all to cook it. Whereas if you put it in here, you have to use your charcoal to smelt it all. Whereas, might as well just throw it in there takes a little bit longer, I believe, but it's definitely worth it. All right, number, I think it's five or six, one of those. Make yourself some crowbars. If you take a look here, you unlock them pretty early on. They are, there you go. See, I think you get them at about level 20, roughly, and they're really cheap to make. Seven iron bars. 3 leather. Don't see why you wouldn't make it. They're fast, they're strong, and they've got pretty good durability. So yeah, crowbars are the way to go. Number 7 or F, I've forgotten how I'm doing all of this. Get the sewing benches made as soon as you can. So here they are. These are your sewing benches. You can have three of them on your map. I've only got two at the moment. Sewing benches are going to cost you 20 planks, 15 iron, and 5 rubber parts each. And farm plant fibers. Having a constant supply of cloth is incredibly important for both... Sorry, I'm dying quickly. Having a constant supply of cloth is incredibly important for both bandages and for your armor, as you've already seen. Number the next one is make yourself carrot soup. You'll get these seeds whilst you're out farming all of that cloth, and each seed makes two carrots, 
and each carrot will make one carrot soup. With all the wood farming you'll be doing, you'll have easily enough charcoal to cook all of this up. So you definitely want to be making yourself carrot soup. It is really good for healing you. Which brings me on to the next point. Make charcoal and use that to smelt instead of using wood as a fuel. 10 pine planks will make 20 charcoal. You then use six of the total charcoal, six of the 20, and you put it back in with 10 planks to make yourself another 20 charcoal. Try to build up a stash of charcoal to keep your furnaces running. I've been falling behind a little bit lately. And finally for tip number 10, get working on Bunker Alpha. Don't worry about clearing the entire thing and stay away from the Frenzy Giants unless you have guns or you're good with a, good with a bow. You won't be killing them. You can clear most of the second floor and third floor without facing a single Frenzy Giant. This will be an easy way to get tickets to start opening the bunker crates and I recommend using it, the tier 3 thick armour, which is this stuff here. Take two of the sets for floor 2 and lots of crowbars and lots of carrot soup. This isn't a tutorial video on how to clear the bunker, you got to work that all out for yourself. But yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed my top 10 tips for new players to the game. If you can think of anything else that I haven't added in, then let me know in the comments below. Bye!